Amazing Blue fans. It's almost that time we've waited all this time. This felt like the longest summer ever. But as always, like, share, subscribe to my page. If you want to drop a donation, feel free. But let's just get into it. So today I wanted to do the Michigan versus Notre Dame preview. I'm so ready for I'm so ready for Saturday. Like this week cannot go by fast enough. I'm setting everything up. I can't miss this game. I gotta be ready. Popcorn wings. I gotta be ready because I'm I know it's I know it's gonna be good. But uh Michigan plays Notre Dame at 7 30 Saturday night, NBC. And I can't really go on stats from last year besides like defensive stats. Michigan had a top-ranked defense, returning almost everybody. Notre Dame had a pretty good defense as well. I'm not sure they're ranking, but I know they're bringing back a lot of the same players. So their defense should be pretty good. Like Notre Dame's always had pretty good defensive players since Brian Kelly's been there, going back to like Monta Teo and a bunch of D linemen they had that were good back then too. So as far as that goes, both both of these defenses are good. Hopefully, Michigan's be, defense will be better than theirs, hopefully, because we have Don Brown, the mad scientist. So, Michigan's defense should be lights out and playing very, very fast. And as far as as far as Notre Dame's as far as Notre Dame's offense, this is where I think the difference maker will be because I believe Michigan's defense will be way better than Notre Dame's offense. Notre Dame's offense is uh their starting quarterback is Brandon Winbush and he 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 wasn't bad last year. He wasn't too bad, but he he'll miss he'll miss throws. Like Notre Dame is a running team. They're going to run a lot of option or they're going to run it just with the running backs and run it with Winbush. So when he has throws to make they're usually open throws because they've been running the ball so much. Now you play action and you, you know, you get wide open throws and stuff like that, or they're unexpected throws almost. So he's pretty good, but we have to make, we have to make him into a thrower. If we let him run the ball all over us, like uh JT Barrett does, like uh I think Lewerke, Lewerke got us somewhat last year here in, in, in big spots. But that's the thing. You we have to control those those third and fives and those third and tens and he scampers with his legs and gets the first down. You can't do that. Can't can't give him any hope of throwing of of running for first downs and moving the chains. You have to make him into a pure passer. Keep him in the pocket, make him beat you with his arm. And as far as that goes, I'm hearing Notre Dame might have a short leash on him actually, so if if he's not uh, if if he's not making the right throws, they may put it in the backup, and I th- he's more of a pure passer. So honestly, I don't I'm not sure if I want to see him because I've never I don't I don't think he's ever even played. But uh, as far as Michigan's offense, now Michigan's offense is really not much to say about it because we don't know what it's gonna be. There's no been been no spring game. We haven't seen any scrimmages or anything. They've had a scrimmage, but nobody had cameras in there, and it's not on YouTube. So if it's not on YouTube or anything like that, then nobody has video of it, basically, or the team just has it. But uh, we don't. So we don't know what Michigan's offense will be for the for the most part. But we do know this: Michigan is going to be balanced. They're going to run the ball. We, we will run the ball with Higdon and uh, Chris Evans, and Shea will probably get in some run options. So, but it's good. I'm hearing the offense is a lot of run pass options. So, Shea will have the ability to change a pass to a run or run to a pass. And so, as far as that goes, I, I like that for the most part, as long as he's smart, smart enough to know when, when the defense is actually showing you something and then they're backing out. They're just showing you a, 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 a blitz, but they're really in a cover two or something like that, you know. So you have to make the right check. Sometimes they'll make you check into something that that goes right to what their defense is playing. So you you don't want to fall into that trap. But as far as as far as I'm looking at it, I'm 
I'm seeing Michigan winning this game mm, 20, 27, 27-17, 31 to – 21 something like that but I'm, I'm trusting the offense that our offense is going to be able to move the ball consistently and be in a rhythm whether it's running the ball and passing it because people forget that Michigan hasn't had a balanced attack since two years ago because last year was just horrible every team we played had eight men in the box eight men in the box we couldn't pass the ball so they put in eight men in the box and we got to run on eight guys and the only way that works is if you just wear a team down just handing it off constantly and then it's that's why you got some of those games against bad teams where it lasted all the way until like the beginning of the fourth the middle of the fourth because all we could do is wear them down by constantly running it down their throat and then finally Higdon would break one or Chris Evans might break one. So that's why we had some games like that. If you can't throw it, they're going to put eight guys in a box and, okay, beat us. But that's those are my thoughts for the most part. I mean, Notre Dame's offense, Wimbush, he's going to be running it, running around, running. We have to contain him from that. Michigan, we have to have consistent offensive play because our defense is going to keep us in the game regardless. Even if our offense is having a bad game, our defense is going to keep us there. We just need somebody that can, even if the offense is off, let us give us a drive at the end. Give us a drive. The defense keeps it close, but you got to, you got to close the deal for them. Defense is not always going to be able to get an interception and pick six or a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Like, they get you that ball back with a chance. We got to have the offensive ability to score score points. But I'm, pick, I'm picking Michigan, so there's, there ain't nothing to say about that. I'm picking Big Blue, of course. So, I'm hype. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I've been waiting. This it seems like the longest offseason of my life. Like I've, it's just been horrible for me. I I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but the off season is, it, it it was just too long for me. But those are my thoughts. I got Michigan winning by ten. As long as we win, I'm I'm cool because we have we have cupcakes for the next couple weeks. I, Nebraska sprinkled in there. They're starting a true freshman quarterback, so we should have some weeks of just cupcakes blowouts. But this is the big one. We need this for momentum and just to start going up in the rankings and so people will know we're legit. But I appreciate the love. Like, share, subscribe. If you want to drop a donation, the PayPal and the Cash App links are down below. As always, go blue.